tips for gratuities is a gift of money given by a customer to someone who performs a service. So if we're at a restaurant and our bill is $50 and we want to leave a 20% tip, how much should we leave? Well, let's think about this in terms of percentages to begin with. That means we want to leave 20% of what we spent. So we want to leave 20% of $50. So we're going to multiply that out. We need to change 20% to a decimal, so that's 0.2. Of is our keyword for multiplication, and then of the $50 that we spent on food and drink. So to figure out our tip, that means we're going to do 50 times 0.2. When we multiply that out, 0 times 2 is 0, 5 times 2 is 10. One decimal place here, so I have one decimal place here. So that means we're going to want to leave a $10 tip. So how much are we going to leave all together? Well, first off, no matter what, we need to leave the $50 for our bill. There's our food and our drink. We have to pay for that. To that, we're going to then add our tip that represents thanking them for their service. So our $10 tip is then added to that. So all together, $50 for our food and drink plus $10 for our tip means we're gonna leave a total of $60 for our server. One of the biggest questions about tipping is do we leave the tip before or after sales tax? Well, say we wanna leave a 25% tip on our restaurant bill. Which number do we leave it on? Well, our subtotal represents what we spent on food and drink. Tax is what they pay to the state. So combined, those are worth $62.48. If we're gonna leave a 25% tip, we're gonna leave it on our subtotal, our amount we spent on food or drink or for our actual goods and services. So that means we're gonna leave 25% of $58.94. So we're gonna multiply that out. 25 hundredths times 58.94, and we do, this is the point we arrive at. Now we have to make some decisions about rounding. When it comes to tipping, there's some personal choices involved. Some people would round this off to the nearest dollar for simplicity's sake. Others would round it off to the nearest pennies for accuracy's sake. We're gonna go accurate in this route and we're gonna round that off to the nearest penny. So that means we're gonna leave a $14.74 tip. So how much is it gonna cost us to get out of this restaurant? Well, first off, we still have to pay for our food and drink and our tax. So that amount's already added to us. So we're gonna use that $62.48. So we're gonna have to pay that amount to cover those expenses. Then we wanna leave our server an additional $14.74 tip. So we're gonna add that to our $62.48. When we do that all together, we're gonna to have to pay a total of $77.22 to cover food and drink, tax, and tip. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching.